So fun fact, before I upgraded my workstation to Excalibur, I was actually using a laptop, believe it or not. Choosing a new laptop is a big decision. Not only is it expensive, but the time and effort put into finding the one leaves you drained and willing to settle if you don't make the right choice. So in this video, I put together what to look out for when you're going to do to create your animations. Coming up right after this. Hey guys, this is Cliff from Roundtable Studios where we produce animation videos and show you how you can make yours too. So I have been getting some questions about laptops in the comments of my Excalibur video and if this hardware is better than that hardware. So I decided to do another little breakdown of what each hardware specializes in when you are doing your budget for your workstation so you know which hardware does what. So as much as it's fun to just spit out jargon from the specs of a computer or get real techie, I want to make it as understandable and relatable as possible to even a newcomer can understand. So first, I want to explain a few things that are important for animation that rely on computer's performance. There are quite some things to consider when you're looking for the best laptop for animation. You still want specific hardware of the laptop to have certain specifications and very specific parts that should be built into the laptop for maximum speed. The best laptop for animation is a combination of optimal hardware and mobility. And in fact, there aren't all that many great laptops for animation out there. Before we dive into what specific parts you should be looking for in a laptop, let's look at how the task of animating on a laptop actually uses the hardware. This way we can see clearly what parts we will need to optimize as much as possible to pick your right laptop. If you feel like you know your way around the hardware components and would like to skip directly to my recommended laptops, jump to this time in the video for the recommendations. Animation in itself is making virtual objects move in a way we define. This can be in 2D or 3D, and there are lots of programs that we use to go about the task of animation. Now, what we do when we animate is usually pose a rig, set keyframes, and adjust certain parts and objects so they are placed to our satisfaction. One important thing to note here is that we usually do this not while looking at the final quality image, but a rough preview viewport, a wireframe, or a simple shaded view. Now, you may think that since there's a lot of graphical calculations going on, that the graphics card is an important piece of the hardware we would need for our computer. And I'm here to tell you that the graphics card is not as important as you think. If it's not the graphics card that does the heavy lifting on anime, what other hardware would be crucial in speeding things up? You might already guess, but it really is the CPU or the processor. Now, that is the most important hardware component in a laptop when using it mainly for animation. Although animation seems to be a very visual task, it's the CPU that has to do a lot of the work for the scene objects, rigs, simulations, splines, and so on to be calculated. And only after these CPU calculations are finished, the graphics card displays the result. In other words, the GPU or the graphics card is almost never the bottleneck in a 2D and 3D based workstation for a computer or a laptop. You still want to make sure the CPU is as fast as possible. That being said, of course, you should still have a strong enough GPU, but it does not have to be unappropriately fast compared to the other hardware components. This brings us to the CPU specifically. What makes a CPU fast anyway? Is it the number of cores, the clock speed, or maybe it's just a brand of Intel or AMD? To make it short for animation, the most important CPU feature to look for is the clock speed. The CPU clock speed is more important than having lots of cores or getting a certain brand. So my recommended CPU for the best laptop for animation is either the Intel i7-8750 or the i7-8850. Both of these CPUs are excellent for animation as they have high base clock and a great tube boost clock. The Intel i7-8850 will give you a slightly snappier viewport while the i7-8750 might keep your CPU cooler and laptop overall quiet. The second most important factor in getting the best laptop for animation is the RAM or memory. RAM speed isn't that much of a factor, but the size of the memory will do wonders when working on complex scenes, long animations, multiple characters, high resolution meshes and images, and the ability to keep preview playbacks in your memory for comparison and checking the current animation state. You will want to go with an eight gigabyte as an absolute minimum and target 16 gigs for a much better experience. 32 gigs will help in some cases, 
having more than usually isn't necessary, but it might help with extreme complex scenes, large textures or animation simulations and dynamics that are not keyframe driven. The thing about RAM is that it doesn't seem to improve speed all that much unless you have too little. Then you notice a major difference. You definitely want to avoid having too little RAM. My recommendation for RAM for your laptop is 16 gigabytes of DDR4. Although it's not important as a factor as a CPU, the graphics card is responsible for displaying to your monitors or any attached display device. It will help in displaying textures and any other shaders and graphical effects. The Maya Viewport 2.0, for example, makes heavy use of such effects and lacks strong GPUs. Although these types of effects can be intensive, the GPU is specialized for this and can usually handle them quite well. So having a fairly strong GPU will definitely help, but only to a certain point. As soon as the CPU becomes the bottleneck, the GPU will not do anything for the performance or viewport snappiness and refresh rate. My base recommendation for a great GPU is the NVIDIA GTX 1060. Now I have said quite often in this video that the GPU is not an important factor in animation. This changes entirely if you plan on final rendering your scenes on the GPU instead of a CPU. GPU render engines have become quite popular recently such as Octane, Redshift, V-Ray or Furry Ball. These render engines utilize a graphics card instead of the CPU to render out your scenes and can be quite a bit faster than using a CPU. If this is the case and you plan on using GPU render engines, then you should invest more in a GPU. My recommendation then would be to get a GPU such as the 1080 GTX. Beware though that having an extremely strong GPU in a laptop will almost definitely make the laptop more bulky, heavier, larger and draw more power. It would also make a laptop very noisy when GPU rendering. There has been quite an update in terms of storage hardware over the past years and almost all laptops now have uh, SSD built in or solid state drives. In the past, these storage devices used to be hard disk drives or HDDs that were very slow and bottlenecked with many aspects of a rendering system. Like I explained in my desktop video, SSDs are much faster at reading and writing to the storage system and you can now boot the operating system faster, start your programs, faster and load and save your scenes updates in a fraction of the time used to take. SSDs also are much more secure, they don't age as fast as HDs and they are almost completely shock resistant. Having an SSD in a laptop is an absolute must. My recommendation here would be look for a 500GB SATA SSD. Now the reason you're looking for a laptop for animation and not a computer or workstation probably is for mobility reasons. You want to be able to take this with you, maybe to work while traveling, or you have a docking station at work at home and you just take your laptop with you wherever you are currently working. Maybe a computer setup is just too big and you like to start with something leaner and doesn't quite require a dedicated area with cables running everywhere. If you're a student, then having a laptop may be required by schools, or you can take your laptop from class to class and back home every day. I have put together some recommendations of laptops that will fit your needs in different price ranges below for you to look at. If you plan on using Cinema 4D, After Effects, and other graphically less demanding software more extensively, uh, consider all aspects such as size, weight, mobility, and especially performance and price, your best laptop um, for animation that I can recommend is the MSI GS65 Stealth Fin 15 inch laptop. Um, some of the features include that it's of course it's ultra thin, the CPU is an i7-8750, the graphics card is a GTX 1060, the RAM is 16 gigs, is an SSD 512 with a 15.6 IPS screen. Um, it says gaming laptop in the title which can be somewhat misleading. The reason why laptops or computers have the word gaming anywhere on the product page usually is because the graphics card is fairly strong and the manufacturers think that these laptops will be games on. Well, there are excellent for animation as well, so don't let it distract you. This laptop is lightweight and extremely portable and slim. If it is Maya and, and other graphically more demanding software you use most, you will want to lean towards a better GPU such as the 1070, so a close second within the same price range and hardware components is the Gigabyte Arrow 15X V8 BK4 15-inch Ultra Slim laptops. The features are similarly the processor is an i7-8750, the GPU is a GeForce GTX 1070, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 SSD, and also another 15.6 IPS screen. This Gigabyte laptop again has the gaming branding and title will be excellent for animation as well. Two more great choices with similar hardware are the Asus GX 531GS and the Razer Blade 15. What laptops are you thinking of buying? 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Links to all the parts and the laptops are in the description. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to let me know down below in the comments. If you want to know what type of computer parts you can get or the computer I'm using, click the link on the screen. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.